Cervical radiculopathy is the most common cause of neck and arm pain. It's caused by a reduction in space around the nerves that exit from the spinal cord and into the arm. These are four tests you can do on your own to see if you have cervical radiculopathy. If you do have symptoms in three of the four tests, that means that it's likely that you have cervical radiculopathy and that you should see your physical therapist or rehab specialist right away. If you are unable to rotate your head 60 degrees, which is usually with your chin in line with your shoulder, that will be positive. Or if you have symptoms in your neck and arm when you are rotating towards the side that you do have your symptoms, that is positive and a risk of having cervical radiculopathy. The Swirlings test is another test that you can do to see if you have cervical radiculopathy. If positive, you'll have either neck and shoulder pain or reproduction of your symptoms. So you'll bring your head in extension and to the side here and you can press that head down and once again see if you're having your symptoms. If so, that's a positive Sperling's test. Distraction is another test to see if you have cervical radiculopathy. So what you'll be doing instead of having your symptoms, you should have a reduction in your symptoms here. Or if it feels good, so you'll just be pulling your head so having your thumbs down or towards the back, then you're trying to lift your head up. And if that feels good or better, that is a positive sign for cervical radiculopathy. The upper limb tension test of the median nerve is also a cervical radiculopathy test. So you'll have your arm forward, the one that's having symptoms down the arm. You'll extend that arm back and then bring it all the way back here. Then you'll bring your right ear to your right shoulder, your opposite ear to your opposite shoulder. And if that reproduces your symptoms or neck pain, that's a positive test that you have cervical radiculopathy. So those are the four tests to see if you have cervical radiculopathy. Once again, if you're positive in three of those four, that means you do have cervical radiculopathy and you should see a specialist today. Even if you don't have three or four, these are simple home tests, not the specific ones that we will be using in the clinics or we'll be adding more pressure and be a little bit more accurate. But these are four simple things you can try at home, once again, to see if you have cervical radiculopathy.